Hey guys, the chicken is here back to another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, we have the uh, Your Season 58 Tech Tree Guide, and we're going to go over what you need to have some success on day one. Um, we did figure out a base, and the it seems like the right tech to get started, so excited to share that with you guys. If you haven't already, I do appreciate it if you throw that code chicken in the shop. It does help to support the channel. And also, I want to give a big shout out to everybody that, um, that donated or shared to that GoFundMe. Um, you guys are amazing and it, it's going to make a huge difference for, um, my sister-in-law's family and they're, they're going through, you know, some hard times and I'll keep you guys posted on how that turns out. But I wanted to say thank you for, um, just for your, your support. I really appreciate it. Um, uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel because this is another crazy, uh, worship season where we have tons of tech. 40 keys in a gold chest. We can look at the chest real quick. 40 keys in the gold chest, 44 keys in the diamond chest, and 50 keys in the legendary chest. Um, and this is going to be another one week season. This is season 3 of 4 of the mega seasons. It's also season 31 reloaded, um, which was a pretty fun season. And <clears throat> starting out of the gates, we have a lot of options. Okay, we have a lot of options. Now, I know you're seeing this right here. Max Rockets. I just did that. I don't think you necessarily need to focus on that. I would do the troop stats first and then the rocket launcher. So let's go over let's go over the path. Also, this base has been sweet. I haven't uh, I haven't lost since I, I started running it. Um, that was right where we switched. And going to five right out of the gate seemed to be the key. So uh, starting off, we have mechs, we have Grens. Now mechs are really strong at just even level one. Um, and you, for whatever reason, when you upgrade them, you don't really get that much more health. Like, look, they have almost 20,000 health. Um, and then if you upgrade it to the next level, then it goes to, uh, we'll get an extra 540, which isn't that much. So, um, max to tick one or two is fine. Um, so moving forward, I opted to go down a bit of a defense rabbit hole at the beginning to get shock launchers. I think that is worthwhile especially because um, lots of players are going to go Seekers uh, immediately, so having something to slow the Seekers down, uh, extremely helpful. So as we move on from there, we might as well upgrade this now, I guess. Um, yeah, maybe we'll wait if we uh, do that again. But um, So as we move forward from there, I stayed on the middle path, and we went straight to four yards. Then we went uh, up through Boom Mines, Critters, Machine Gun, Rifleman, um, and then back through uh, building health, and then went to five. Um, next plan, I think, is we want to get to shock mines probably again to help slow down the seekers. Because um, if you don't defend against the seekers, then you know you're really just going to lose every time you match up with them, and we don't want that. We don't want that. Now, there's a lot of sky shields that we can take this season. There's a lot of protos. I would skip these for now. I did get one, but I think this one was cheaper. It was 28 keys, so it was kind of value, but. Um, I think overall, like just take one prototype and then keep moving forward. We don't want to uh, get too much defense and get stuck in that trap that we got stuck in last season where everybody was going six, five yard, and six yard, and then we were stuck. Definitely get out of four before you start to uh, pick up extra defenses, and that's going to be that's going to be more beneficial to you. We have heavies down here, but I don't have them unlocked just yet. Um, I'm finding mechs and rifles are working really good, even against dirty bases like mine. Um, that seems to be able to, to get through everything. So, so there's your tech. That's where you need to get started or, you know, close to it. Now, um, but, but, but I, got, I still got to make some decisions about what I'm going to do next. Not entirely sure. I don't want to get too far ahead of the game either. Um, but yeah, so let's go, let's take a look at the attack next. Now, this guy had a very similar base to what we had. And, um, he actually had two sky shields. So we had a little bit more defense. And I'll show you how we how we do these. So, an area like this, one mech and is fine because we also have critters, right? So if we look at it, there's only a machine gun and flamethrower. Uh, the two flamethrowers that are going to do splash damage. There's no mines, so we're going to get some really good value uh, out of uh, out of the critters once the mech gets down there and he's able to stun things. If you guys remember back when this season initially came out, it was before mechs had the stun ability. So they're even stronger now, and they worked great, you know, for the most part in that season. Um, 
So we made a mistake there, and we uh, the mech almost died. I'm also running a Universal Remote, the hack with Everspark. Um, it can be super helpful in certain situations. Sometimes it works really well. Sometimes it'd be nice to have the extra critters, but I, I find that she produces enough critters just with her passive ability that we don't have to worry about that too, too much. Um, we're probably going to switch to Gavon at some point, but uh, Spark is definitely working out really well, and she's helping to keep all the troops alive and prevent it from being uh, a fizzle fest. This is more about... These attacks are more about speed um, than anything else. So, yeah, so you can see we're just taking down both sides here. You, you need to get a nice split. Um, without artillery, we're just, you know, stuck to using gunboat energy and critters. Um, but as long as we manage them well enough, then it, we're not really having too much of a problem uh, with the attack. You see, I keep hitting that one rocket launcher just because um, that was the only thing targeting my bombardiers. And and then we go for a little bit of speed here. I crittered the, uh, the flamethrower just to get some extra damage. Get one more uh, basket of critters on top of that ER. Try to keep those bombers alive, then make the flare. And boom. So most of the hits end up like this. And for flares, I'm finding tick 3 is fine for right now. Um, you know, we'll obviously want to get it to tick 4 at some point. I also maxed out the gunboat. Um... You know, for the cost, again, I feel like that's a pretty safe move. Um, definitely helpful to have that as well. Um, so yeah, at this point we can get troop damage. And the nice thing about these chests too is obviously the keys, but also the tokens are like tripled. So you can upgrade stuff really, really quickly. And that's definitely helpful. Um, so now we got to make the choice. We want troop damage or we want max sniper towers. I think we want both, so let's max out this, and yeah, so we'll have to wait for the next chest to do the next one, but for right now, that is totally, totally okay. So let's get into some live hits, and see what we can, uh, what we can figure out here. So yeah, um, it, depending on the base, the, the last hit I did uh, two mechs, because I wanted one on either side, because both sides were kind of dirty. Um, but this one will, it just depends, just depends. Some Usually what I've been running is one mech, two rifles in Everspark. Um, but yeah, we'll see. So you guys let me know how you're making out down below in the comments. What do you think of the Mega Seasons? It, it's, uh, it's a lot, it's a lot for sure, but it's also fun. Ooh, this guy's going to have Seekers, let's see if we can survive it. Let's see if we can survive it. I think we'll go rifles on here, I think. I think, I think we're gonna go one, one, two, three, one, two, one, two. I don't know where we want spark. Probably up here, I guess. And if we can critter that engine at the very back, that might be nice. I don't want to play it too aggressively. But let's just see where we can uh, where we can figure out what we can figure out here. I think we're gonna go shock here, critters here. Eh, it's kind of a waste. I kind of ended up going that way anyway. Let's go. Come on, we want to see that beautiful opponent has retreated sign. Uh, was it a fake retreat? I don't know. I think it was legit. I think it was legit, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, so we're fizzling Seekers, we're having a good time. Seeker fizzles is a very good time, so there we go. 251. And also, if you haven't, um, I went over the day one path with Stoneheart yesterday, uh, in yesterday's video. So make sure you check that out if you want a more, like, kind of in-depth explanation on the paths. We went over two paths, a Seeker path and a defensive path. Um, and yeah. It seems to be working, so I don't know where we're at on the old globals. We might have a shot at 20 here. Uh, oops, we're going the wrong way. We are currently 240. So, not too shabby. Not too shabby. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'm going to wrap it up right there. Thank you for watching, and we'll catch the next one, guys. Chicken out, backpack.